Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with an illustration of the crack spread, which is the difference in price between crude oil as the input and equivalent amounts of heating oil and gasoline as the output products generated by the refinery. To illustrate, I collected futures prices just out for several months for these three commodities. That's crude oil, natural gas, and heating oil, all three are commodities that trade on NYMEX where you can enter into a long or short position with a futures contract which is a agreement to buy or sell that commodity in the future at the agreed upon price. And so crude oil on June 2008 is priced at the futures price is $125.96. That's per barrel so I want to divide by 42 because there are 42 gallons per barrel and that gives me the gallon equivalents because then I can look at all three commodities in terms of price per gallon. So $125.96 is the futures price for a barrel of oil. That means $3 per gallon is the futures price only one month out for one gallon of crude oil. That's the input the petroleum refiner will purchase crude oil in order to, as part of its process, produce natural gas and heating oil as the outputs. Also commodities, we also have futures prices. In the case of the futures contract in June, the price of natural gas is $3.20 and the price of heating oil is $3.64 since these are already priced per gallon. So the trade, the crack spread trade, entails a long position on the crude oil futures contracts because that is needs to be purchased as an input into the production process. So we're buying crude oil futures and then we're selling the two outputs, natural gas and heating oil. Traders have different ratios of buying and selling we can speak of a 2-1-1 crack spread, a 3-2-1 crack spread here I've got a 5-3-2 crack spread meaning buy five gallons of oil take a long position in the oil futures contract and simultaneously sell or take a short position in three gallons of gas and two gallons of heating oil. See how we're long the commodity we need to purchase as the input and we're short the commodity that after the products refined will be selling and so at least in terms of the crack spread a profit can be locked in. Of course to the refinery this is not nearly the full profit because it doesn't include all of the other costs to produce to convert crude oil into its outputs. But given these numbers, if we buy five gallons of oil, that's five times the three dollars of crude oil, that's fifteen dollars. If we sell three gallons of gas and sell three two gallons of heating oil, then we're selling for these amounts and we can with the futures contract lock in in other words five gallons the, of the purchase of oil and three gallons of the sale of gas and two gallons uh, a sale of the heating oil so if I just move over to the right then what I've done here is just calculate the crack spread so in this case for the June month or one month out of futures contract I can sell, I can lock in a sale of the two gallons of heating oil, lock in a sale of three gallons of natural gas, so that right there is going to be cash inflow, and then I'm going to subtract the five long contracts for crude oil, so I'm going to, that's a minus, that's a cash outflow, I'm going to purchase that and the difference then in terms of what I'm going to receive versus what I'm going to pay is in this case a dollar eighty eight and this is the five three two crack spread between crude oil and 
heating oil and gasoline at least one month out in terms of the June uh, futures contract. You can see I can copy this down and look at the evolution of the forward curve of the crack spread over time. So this is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.